Breaking into programming for a special event. It is a story we've been following for weeks now. Goodlessville's Little League makes it all the way to the final game in the World Series, and they're now returning home, as you see. Fox 17's John Dunn live at the Nashville International Airport with their arrival. John. Stacy, get ready for a big cheer here at the gate B3. We can see the plane. It is on the ground. We have seen several players begin to make their way off of the plane onto the jet bridge, and we expect them to come out this door any minute. Just take a look to our left right here. You can see all the people who are gathered waiting to welcome the team. We've got parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, and they're about ready to erupt. We're going to take you right back over to this door because I feel like it's going to be any minute. We've got tons of kids, 13 players on this team, 11, 12, 13 years old, and they have no idea what they're about to step into. It's going to be a, a crazy scene both here at the airport and then a little later in Goodlettsville when they arrive for the big parade and welcome home celebration. The airport has put up a few decorations, but mainly the big excitement here is just seeing all these folks who are gathered with their signs, the family members who are excited. Uh, I can tell you that we saw a few kids get off a little earlier. My suspicion is that they're hanging out as a group down at the end of the jet bridge, and once they all get here, they'll begin to make their way out as a team. Of course, we've all watched what they've been doing over the last two weeks. Team spirit is what this group is all about. That amazing game on Saturday when they beat California to the capture of the U.S. championship, and then Sunday playing against Japan. Here and here they, they come. The Goodlettsville All-Stars. This is really our first time to see them up close. We have all 13 players here, the coaching staff. They're wearing their uniforms, their caps. They look a little starstruck right now, but really, we're all <laughs> starstruck by them. We can't believe they're here. I've got goosebumps, Look at this team. John. The national champions of Little League, the best in America, back home in Nashville and soon making their way to Goodlettsville. Stacy, what a sight here at the airport. Oh, John, it's just giving me goosebumps. I know the people at home watching, you just you can't help but be so excited for them and the international attention they have brought to Goodlettsville and the greater Nashville area and our community as a whole. They, you're right, they do look starstruck. They don't, they've never seen anything quite like this. There's a smile. Yeah, you know, you'd think after being on national television on ABC and ESPN, they might be a little bit over the whole publicity thing, but you can tell it's something special for these kids. I talked to a mother earlier who said this is going to be one of those moments that she'll remember and her son will remember for the rest of their lives. Uh, you're looking right now at Ryan Lyle. Uh, Ryan, you're live on television on Fox 17. Tell us, uh, what's it like being home right now? It feels really good because I didn't miss it home. I've been seeing like home like four weeks. It's good to be home. Yeah, and I know you have no idea how excited folks here are to see you, but you guys are heroes in our book. Do you, do you, do you feel some of that excitement when you're in Pennsylvania? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and just talk about what it means to be a world champion. Just, I don't know. Words can't describe it. <laughs> Ryan Lyle right here, uh, and he obviously is one of the 13 guys. We're all so excited to see his parents here joining him, uh, his his younger brother. Uh, we spoke to his aunt uh, a couple weekends ago, so I know he's got support here in town. Uh, a lot of people here at the airport, I'm going to step into the shot here for just a moment. Uh, we are, are, are going to be speaking with the coach in just a minute. Uh, a couple of the key players, Brock Myers, Lorenzo Butler, who hit those three home runs on Saturday. Uh, very excited to see them back in Nashville this afternoon, Stacy. Absolutely. I've seen Brock Brock Myers yet, John. Brock Myers, the first yeah, one in Brock Little League Myers history. Brock Myers is here, and in fact, uh -huh. I believe he's getting ready to kind of start a press conference here, but he is back home. <laughs> Set that record. First one to hit five homers in five straight games. Thank you, John. We'll check back with you a little later. Well, in about an hour, the team is expected at the Goodlettsville City Hall. That is where my colleague Scott Couch is right now with more on the big homecoming. Scott, I guess they got to get their bags and get in the car, and then they'll be there. Stacy, the crowd has been growing here since about 10 o'clock this morning, and it is really something. For those who are from outside the uh, immediate Davidson County area, Goodlettsville is located 12 miles north of downtown, but for the next 12 months, this is going to be the center of the Little League Baseball 
I guess universe in terms of the United States because these guys are the defending Little League champs for the next year. My friend Jason Maxwell is with me. If you will, pan around, show some of the folks. We've got a lot of folks here who are wearing those Goodlettsville Little League baseball caps. There's a lot of red, white, and blue here. Patriotism is uh, really at a fever pitch. This crowd has been slowly, slowly building. The folks are really plugged in, and they heard that there was a delay with the flight, so a few of them came as early as 10 o'clock this morning. In fact, I talked to uh, three women who were sitting in a car, and they got a great parking spot, and I was speaking with them. They said, we've been here since 10. Now, this crowd, you see over here that's right at the front entrance to Goodlettsville City Hall, you know, right down Long Hollow Pike there, across Dickerson Road. This has all come up just in about, oh, I'd say the last 40 minutes that the numbers have really started to grow. As I look up above this crowd, I'm seeing a Metro Police helicopter sort of keeping an eye on traffic, you know, very aware of what's going on, you know, down here on the ground. People are really excited. People have taken off work. They've taken some of the young people out of school early. I saw Congressman Jim Cooper here just a moment ago. I've seen county commissioners from Sumner County, because one of the neat things about this team is that we really have at least three Middle Tennessee counties that can claim a part of it. Goodlettsville is one of those rare Middle Tennessee cities that uh, is divided. Part of it is in Davidson County. Part of it is in Sumner County. And we're sort of on the northern edge of Davidson County, so some of the kids that are on this team are from places like Ridgetop, and Greenbrier just up the road here in Robertson County. So they're very excited. We're anticipating the team to come here. A moment ago when you were looking out toward Dickerson Road, that's where the bus is actually going to stop and the guys are going to walk up this way past the fans who have assembled here to just really show them how proud everyone is. I live in this neck of the woods too and I can tell you that you know when you go to the grocery store, when you go to church, wherever you go these days, restaurants, everybody is talking about this team. So I think that uh, this is probably only going to grow in terms of the crowd. And of course, in a couple of weeks, there will be even a larger ceremony. For now, we're going to wrap it up from Goodlettsville at City Hall, send it back to the studio, but we'll promise another live report when the team arrives here. Stacy. Of course, and it will be well worth the wait when those boys return home. Scott, thank you. And there are more plans to celebrate our hometown heroes. A parade to honor the Goodlettsville team is being organized for September the 8th at Moss Wright Park. Mark it on your calendars. As we get more information about that, we will pass it along to you. And the whole team, we're talking the whole team, all 13 of them, will be live in studio with us on Fox 17 tonight starting at 9 o'clock. And we'll be back live when the team makes it back to Goodlettsville with complete coverage. Until then, you can get the latest updates on Fox 17, Facebook, and Twitter.